Okay, so today I just wanted to walk through setting up a Visual Studio project. Uh, namely, we're going to be covering what to do about include directories and lib directories. I know it's a little bit tricky, especially if you're using uh, some library like SDL2. It can be a little tough to set up. Uh, so we're just going to go through it from the beginning. Uh, so we'll start with an empty project here, and I'll just call this VS Setup. It really doesn't matter. This will just be the name of your project. And we'll go ahead and click create. In the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and open up. I like to keep all my C++ libraries stored right here on my C drive. Uh, that way they're available for me whenever I need them. Uh, let's come into our SDL2 folder here. And we're just going to copy everything in this include directory. Now what we're going to do is come back here. Uh, VS Setup is the project that we just created. And we'll just come in here. We're going to make a new folder called Include. And we're going to make another one called Lib. On the Include directory, whoops. We actually, uh, what I like to do, and it just keeps, it, and make sure there's no uh, namespace overlaps, is I like to just make sure this is my SDL2 include uh, header files. So we're just going to put them in the SDL2 library. Now that's different from the lib folder. Come back to SDL2. I just copy everything in the lib folder x84 and x86, or x64 and x86. I just copy them in here. If I have another project, uh, there really shouldn't be any overlaps with naming. And if there are, then uh, well, we have bigger problems with our project and it's just not going to work. So you can keep those in the regular x84, x86 uh, for the include, put it in a named name directory, depending on whatever your library is. All right, so now we can come up here. We're just going to make a main.cpp to make sure everything's working. All right, so this is where we're going to test and make sure everything is set up correctly. One last thing is make sure uh, I, I've got it set to debug mode. That's fine but I need to change over to X64 because I've got a 64-bit processor. Make sure your settings are correct, otherwise uh, this probably isn't gonna work. So now we're gonna right-click on our project and hit Properties. If you need to change your language, uh, whatever standard you're using with C++, you can do that here. Right now it's set to C++ uh, 14, although sometimes I need to change it to C++ 17. Uh, one more thing to check, make sure you're set to all configurations and all platforms right now. We'll go ahead and hit apply. You don't need to change your standard. Uh, it's just something I do because of the libraries I use. So now we're going to come in here in our include directories. We're going to edit this. Make sure you're still on all platforms right now because everything's going to use the same include directory. We're going to come in here and use the solution dir macro and just say include. That's where all of our include directories are going to come from. Let's come down to C++ and hit additional include directories, and we'll just do the same thing. Solution dir include. Now if we go ahead and apply this, we can close out of here, and we should get code completion with SDL2, SDL.h. Now before, if you tried that, it wouldn't pop up. If you didn't have those uh, include directories set up, none of this code completion would have happened. All right, so now I just created a little SDL program. This is gonna create a window and renderer, and it'll just pull an event and check if, we're, if we wanna quit. Uh, right now, if you try to run this, it won't work. You're probably going to get a linker error and maybe some... Yeah, here we go, link 2019. So we have some unresolved linkers. Let's go ahead and get that set up. So we'll come back to uh, configuration properties, V, C++ directories. And this time we'll go to library directories, but make sure we need to change... Uh, 
we're going to target either x64 or x86 so we need to make sure our platform is set correctly come down into library directories and we'll do it'll be very similar just do solution dir uh, this time we'll do lib slash x64 and there we go c users michael desktop youtube vs setup which is our uh, project that we just made lib x84 x86 x64 uh, let's see, that's the wrong one. Yes, setup lib x64. Perfect. Go ahead and apply that and then switch over to. Uh, before we do that, make sure you uh, copy this. It makes it a lot easier because then we can come over to Win32. Just paste this and change the 64 to 86. It should be x86. Then we'll come down to C and C++, and there's an additional libraries as well. I can never find this one. Maybe it's in our linker settings. Yeah, here we go. So go to linker, general, and then additional library settings is near the middle. And we're just gonna do the same thing. Right now I'm set to x86. Make sure you're targeting the right platform. And remember 32 is uh, x86. Go ahead and apply that and then switch over to x64. And we'll just paste that in. One last thing before we are done, come over here to linker input click on additional dependencies, go ahead and edit that. And we're going to type in sdl2.lib and sdl2main.lib. These are our library files and these are going to come straight out of this VS setup slash lib and then whatever platform you're targeting. They just come right, right out of there. All right, so now if we run this, we should get something something to work. Uh, it might not be perfect because I just did this from memory. All right, there we go. We got our window. Uh, we got our renderer. It's not actually drawing anything right now, uh, but we've got the window and renderer. Everything is working correctly. And it's checking our quit event. Now I could build this for x86. I don't think it'll run on my machine though. Right. Uh, so there's still linker errors and the issue is I'm trying to run it on x86. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's not the only problem. I only targeted x64. Uh, don't forget when you're doing your additional dependencies, you have to target both x84 and x86. So now that we've got Win32 in there, uh, we shouldn't get those linker errors. Uh, but it's unable to start correctly because we're in the wrong platform. So that makes complete sense. Uh, this is how you set everything up though. If you wanna build your solution, you can build it for your uh, x86 release if you need to do that. Just come in here and build it. And then you'll see under your project, have a release and then here it is. And that's the release we just made for x, uh, x86. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if it was, go ahead and let me know by leaving a like or leaving a comment uh, and spread this video around to anybody who needs it. Thanks.